Hello and welcome back to Master of Orion Conquer the Stars, where in the last episode we jumped at a chance to go to war with the Mershan, and the Mershan have been beaten back pretty severely, I might say. I mean, they're all, all of their colonies or claimed influence uh, on the other side of the wormhole has sort of been eradicated by the by the um, by the Maclars, or um, still best friends, sadly enough. Um, and, well, I've been taking a good stab at their heartland and uh, we'll continue to move on this uh, on there this time. I don't think I have enough troop transports here, though, to really engage it, right? 18. 18 against 14, including three tanks. Uh, no, this can, this, this, this can go badly. So let's, let's not. Let's just... Form up a blockade, and then when the when the next troop transport hits, then we'll, we'll continue to go there. All right, you're gonna join the force here. All right, the Maclars. I don't know what they're trying to do with that system. Do they have troop transports? They don't. They have a few destroyers and bigger ships, so they might have a few bombs going, but uh, not sure if they try to bomb what's, whatever's going on, on on these planets. I've, I've, I've never been there, so I don't really know what's going on there, but uh, the Titan will go back to this point and uh, defend it against um, intrusions. Doesn't have bombs, so there's really no reason to send it there because there's there seems to be no fleet there anymore because the Mechlaws already took care of that, and uh, I don't I don't really need the bombs either. So uh, I, I I don't really need it to bomb either because it doesn't have bombs. All right, good. Starvation again, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, you fucking idiots. Well, I do have a little bit of money to throw at the problem. Which is a good way to solve problems. Throw money at it. So what are you gonna do there? Throw some more bombs, alright? No, apparently not. A kink requires your attention. So this time we can decide between being able to build supercomputers, which you can only build once per system, and they give a flat research bonus of 25. Or cybersecurity link, which helps with the mission risk. It doesn't help your defensive spies, but if I want to use spies offensively, I could do it better with cybersecurity link. I don't really need the research bonus anymore because we're almost done researching everything anyway, so there's really no reason to go for additional research bonus. But there's really no no, no good reason for me to go for mission risk. Let's go for mission risk. Maybe um maybe I want to spy on someone for some extra technology. I don't know. With this, I have the I have the ability to, to to use my spies offensively in some capability, but not sure if I'll actually do that. Move up. All right, now we should have enough troop transports. Everyone, get in there. Not taking any risks against uh, against the cats because, as I mentioned earlier, they. They have bonuses to ground combat rating, and they have tanks there, which also which also have bonuses. I'm not sure which 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 technologies they have to improve either their infantry or their tanks. So um, even numbers, I think, are more likely to lose than win. So I'm not gonna take it. I can just prepare and have more. All right, um, go terraforming, I guess. And I really like that we have such huge money income in every turn now. That's really nice. Let's uh, refill our fleets. Oh, great. Let's not refill everyone just yet, though. Let's keep some money in reserve. But I'm gonna continue refitting it next, uh, next turn. Alright, next turn. We need a few more transports before we can engage their home planet, though. If I had my... Wait a sec, uh, I'll, I'll try to hold that thought. What are we doing with you? You don't really need the food right now, right? So, let's 
Use that. Let's throw large amounts of money at you. And then we'll try to continue from where we left off. Um, as I was starting to say, if I had my um, stellar converters ready yet, then I might just be inclined to just blow up their entire home planet. But I don't think any one of these um, is coming very soon. I mean, this one is actually coming soon. And I have some money. Oh yes, let's send the cats a message that, they don't, that they're not going to forget. Blowing up the flicking home planet. Oh yeah. Slightly... It's slightly evil. I, I, I realize that, but... Um, they send spies at us all the time. And they didn't get the message when I sent them home. So, because they continue to send them. So maybe now they get the message. Don't spy on people unless you're willing to go to war with them at some point. This is my mantra. I know the real world may be different, but this is my fucking game, damn it, right now. So if you spy on me, be, be prepared to be, to be annihilated. Anyway, you're gonna stay here. Sort of safeguard against whatever comes out of that wormhole. Not sure what go what's going on on the other side. So far, this, there should only be Mechla forces, and Mechla forces are sort of closest thing to a friend that I have, sadly. But uh, maybe I need it later. So, since I just decided to blow their home planet to pieces, I might actually not not want to send my uh, troop transports there because I don't need troop transports when I blow up their planet. So let's actually send the new troop transports here. So that we can engage Ezra or whatever is left of Ezra when the Mechlos are done with it. Not sure if they're gonna bomb it or if they don't, if they're not gonna bomb it. So let's send those guys over there too. All right, you can go here. Alright, you're done with that. Very nice, very nice. Let's build a sensor here. And you, you're gonna move right over there. One of the other titans will be joining you in your quest to take out their homeworld. Alright, next turn. I guess the humans will be the next, um, I wanted to say problem, but uh, let's, let's call it the next ad adversary. Uh, they're running out of food. Why the uh, frick are you running out of food? Maybe your converted colonists, so just get on that. Thank you. We also need the core waste dump and we have cash, so let's just deal with that. Same here. Okay. Troop transports go in there. Alright. Gonna move there. Flashlight from here is gonna move over there. And help his buddy that's about to come in there. And you're gonna go here, pick up the transports, and then you're gonna move up to Ezra. The combine wishes to initiate trade protocol. Sure, I don't really need pollution processor, but if you want fast missile racks, just ask. Don't mind you having that. Cooperation modules engaged. Alright, so we have a few troop transports here. Let's move up. The station is done, so we can move up here and then get cracking on the next uh, on the next jump gate enemy spy again yeah do do, do realize that that was what pulled me into this war right idiot all right mm. Don't need another military outpost here or here because we're gonna we have control of that and we're gonna blow up that, so there's really no reason for you to build anything there. You can build a sensor array next to the wormhole. That'd be kinda nice. Move up. Let's 
So what are the Mechlers doing? They're just blockading one of the planets. Yeah, seems what they'll be doing. Sure, whatever floats your boat, man. Alright, wait here. Your buddy will be here momentarily. You can move up, I guess. Not sure how many troop transports I need. Hello, there's a settled planet here. How, how nice. We have such advanced sensors that we can see ships from very far away, but we had no idea what these planets are. Because we don't have deep, deep space, uh, deep space scanners. Anyway, let's attack. Colony. And we have us trying to defend it. Let's auto resolve that. I don't think it's actually that interesting. Attack. Fourteen marines, yeah. But you don't have tanks, so let's try with three. That's eighteen. That should be enough. Thank you very much. Good job can go home or something. Uh, da -da, tip, tip. Oh, another troop transport. Not sure where I'm gonna be needing those. I think I have enough go I have enough for up here. So there's only two more incoming, so let's actually send you over there. Balance system. Oh, another Titan. Oh, nice. Do we already have one here? We don't. So, you can join that. So, my claws, I'm not entirely sure what you're doing there, but. Uh, We'll take over in a sec. Just need to rendezvous with my troop transports. I did I did do the rendezvous here because else the destroyer could have moved up there and taken all my troop transports and totally annoyed the fuck out of me. So um yeah. Preemptive measures and all. And the and the um and the stellar converters there. Um what are you doing? Bombing your own former planet. I guess that's a thing. Those kitties. All right. If you want to play like this, then um, we can we can we can play like this. Let's make a let's make a destroyer one on one. And the rest of you can move over there. Let's lift the siege. Yeah. So let's see how, to, how how you defend affairs in a fair and square one on one. You have neutron blaster and nuclear bombs. Uh, you're very 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 great. Why do I see enemy half points but not my? Oh no, I see my own. Okay, I take that back. Gauss cannon. The smell of gauss cannon in the morning. But gauss cannon sounds even more amazing and. The Titan design, where you have lots of them, so you have you, have, you hear a real barrage of these things. That's always fun to see. Why you miss so much, man? Did you drink too much last night? Yeah, the victory celebrations for taking that last planet might, might, might have been a little bit too excessive. Turn around, shoot it. <laughs> also, also the pilot seems to be slightly drunk. Let's actually slow down a little and turn around, fire, yes, and take it out. It doesn't have that much that much health left. Thank you. Let's buy these. Alright, so we have no issue with the Meklars. Do we now? 
<laughs> I know we do, don't have issue with Meklas. Not, not, not right now, at least. But we have issue with the planet. 17. Uh -huh. 17 against 18. This can probably go wrong. Fingers crossed. Way we won. Cool. Apparently all of our tech is actually helping us. Good to know. Alright. Still the tanks are always sort of a wild card, so when the tanks there you should be numerically superior because the tanks can have crazy upgrades and just wreck your forces. So But they didn't have tanks there, so tanks, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Rest of you can move back here. There's something going on in Beta City. I'm not sure what what exactly. Have they settled on this planet and we haven't noticed it because no one, no, none of us was actually moving there? That would be kind of weird. Well, well, let's move over there. Starting next turn. Join your friend. And you have a very honorable um, job. Let's, let, let's call it a job. Pirate fleet detected in the wormhole. On the other side of it? Oh, cool. Okay, we can check that out. If there's really something going on on this planet, I would like to know. Or do they have something... I think it's because... Yeah, they have one one dot in their color here. I think it's because they started building something in that asteroid field over here and this sort of counts as theirs. But I'm not entirely sure about this. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure, but can never be entirely sure. Alright. Put that. When you're done. Troop transports? Yeah, we need a lot more troop transports. Before this day is over. I mean, before our conquest of the known verse is over, of course. Okay. Talking about conquest. We're not gonna conquer anything this time. We only have two ships. They have a few more ships and planetary installations, so it's let's check how that goes. This is TNN. <laughs> What's this now? Long range scanners have detected a gigantic space dragon lurking in a previously unexplored sector of space. Really? Where where and when did that happen? Over here, okay? We got the space dragon on sensors since we had a ship over here. So we got the news, but um, we couldn't figure out which, uh, what the planets were, there, were like over there. Yeah, um, never mind. Uh, attack! Six frigates, two destroyers. Yeah, we, we, you have this. You have this, guys. Mr. Ugly and his friend, Mr. Super Ugly. Against the, the remainders of the Mershan fleet. Rumor has it that they were just built a few a, f a few turns ago. In any event, let's start by taking out the, the, the station. So Mr. Super Ugly has, has torpedoes. While Mr. Ugly... He has gauze. Also work right. Alright, um, don't need to shoot at the same target. Let, 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 let have your friends some fun too. Or, or, or not, I guess. I, I, apparently the gauze cannons work pretty nice. And I wanted to demonstrate a stellar converter. Can we maybe do that? Fire! Alright, at least you got one of them. While well, your friend Mr. Ugly just um, massacred the rest. With his amazing powers of gauze. And there's a scout left that we do have to take care of, I'm afraid. Now he's retreating. Not sure where you're retreating to, Mr. Uh, scout, but... Uh, scout, but... Uh, doesn't really matter. Attack. You may fire when ready. This act attack is considered a repulsive act across the entire galaxy. It will affect the diplomatic relations severely and constitutes a declaration of war. I sure you want to proceed. As I said. You may fire when ready. Well, 
Well, I guess those stellar converters work as, as advertised. And I hope they got the message. Pride has been bested. What other end could be more noble? Uh, how about winning? Right. That's one planet less to worry about. <laughs> okay, so... I guess you can just join the fleet over here. I have one stellar converter for special purposes and two titans and a couple of other ships too, so that'll be fine. Uh, da -da -da, you. Um, apparently we don't need troop transports over there anymore. Guess the next war will be against uh, the filthy, the filthy human apes. So I probably need troop transports down here and up here. Let's also send some of these down here then. So that I can t attack them on two fronts. Human spy, we'll kill it. We know which uh, which homeworld is gonna be blown up next for this this arrogance. All right. Okay, you're done building that. Now you can go here, reconstruct the planet, and then we can just resettle it. It's slightly insane, but that that sounds like a reasonable plan. Let's let's do that. And their installation here has actually disappeared. All right, then we can just terraform this too. In case I want to send some colonists on some different planets for, for reasons. All right, troop transports can now go over here. Alright, the fleet needs new orders. Yeah, stay with those guys. We need more troop transports though. Pretty soon. Don't think the next war will be... Uh, it, I don't think it'll, it'll take a... It, it, it'll take a lot of time before the next war starts. Don't worry. But uh, while, we, no, while we're not at war, I can at least prepare a little bit. Prepare some troop transports, get uh, our new only colonies up to snuff and that's that sort of thing though we don't really need it admittedly but it's always nice to have stuff that you don't need you know right I rebuilt that and I'm not sure who, who was crazy enough to destroy a home planet but I can rebuild this all right there's nothing going on here uh you also have a cruiser yeah do, do you don't have do, do you have a cruiser by the way because you'll probably be the main force for the next invasion all right and let's keep most of those here but send the cruiser on there because the cruiser has some warp disruptor so i'd like it to be with the main the one of the main uh forces the rest of you i guess you can stay here of twelve thousand also almost the same so you just stay here and guard the wormhole against stuff. So let's let, let's even go to the wormhole, because then we can also cover the Ezra system. All right, uh, you can go down here. There's more troop transports coming. Mm-hmm. So barren. We might want to do some terraforming at some point. What you saying? You know what? I don't care what you do. Do what you want. So that the Meklaws all retreat back through the bomb hole? Right. You're gonna be staring at that wormhole for some time. More destroyers. Let's send them here. Let's also upgrade the forces down here because they haven't had an upgrade in a, in a while, it seems. So let's upgrade everyone. They also have frigates. Huh. Interesting. 
and a few of my forces that still has frigates. <laughs> Some of the remnants of our former of our former glory. Let's also upgrade these guys. Let's keep everyone on the best possible level. Alright, once you're done with that, ask back. You probably want to do another round of terraforming. I'll stay here. Stay here. Also stay here. Go there. Hope more people are working on troop transports and not just Ursa. Yeah, you're gonna build on troop. They're gonna build some troop transports later. Alright. Because I'm gonna lead a few more of those. Or we need more stellar converters. I mean that that that's also an option. Just uh, just just uh, rampage through the galaxy and just kill everything. Do they have more? To GNN. Oh. Galactic News Network. <clears throat> the Metlar Combine battle against the Human Republic for control of the galaxy. Yeah, the Metlars seem to have the right idea. I guess uh, they'll they'll ask me soon if I want to join the war. Well, I could just join in right now. I mean, I don't, I don't like the humans. I have I don't have a non-aggression pact with the humans. I can just say, "Yup, man, we never got along really well," and I'm and that makes me really sad. But now I'm gonna get your stuff. Any any any, any, any issue with that? No. Okay. Thanks. See you later. So the main human fleet seems to be here. I do have quite a few frigates, to be honest. Crazy. Crazy guys. Alright, before the fleet moves somewhere else and um, decides to, you know, do stuff. Let's actually move there. We don't have all the troop transports that I would that I would like to have though. That's sort of my deal uh, my, my issue for why I don't want to go to war right now, because I'd like to have my freaking troop transports. So that we don't have to just wait. Ah, let's wait a few more turns. Maybe the Mechlaws will contact us. Maybe maybe not, and I'll declare war in a, in a few turns, but I'd like to wait for some more troop transports, if you don't mind. A combine wishes to initiate trade protocols. Sure, I'd, I'd like more money. Cooperation modules engaged. Alright. to GNN. Population has boomed in a silicoid as the population growth rate has doubled for unknown reasons. Yeah, that's we really need that a population boom at SLA too, okay. Well they're not fully populated, so I guess guess it works. And they get some food from SLA Prime, so that'll work out. I think. Do do, do have a Yes you do, alright. Good. So, Ursa, we need more troop transports, I know. You'll keep building them. There's other even more productive colonies that have just better things to do, I'm I'm I'm, I'm afraid. Like build more ships. For instance. Not sure what what I need those ships for, but build more ships, right? Uh, let's put a planetary stock exchange here. Then continue building ships. Oh, can build a Doomstar. Not sure why. I already have, I already have a design with uh, with uh, planetary annihilation weapons. So, not sure what I want a Doomstar for. And you can only build one Doomstar, so yeah. I can just build this. The, I, I can just do similar stuff with Titans, a little bit smaller, but well. Okay. Good, you've done that very well. I uh, need something else. Um, no, you can wait here. Guess we're gonna move up and uh, take a, and um, make a long visit at the Human Empire soon. Is this your main fleet? It is. Uh, I don't really wanted to engage against the main Mechlar force because I would like to kill something. But their fleet seems to be about comparable in style. Let me actually take a look at the timeline graph for army. 
Well, actually, at similar size now. The Mechlars really haven't improved their fleet much in recent years. So the humans have actually stepped up to the plate. I think uh, the Mechlars are sort of running into command point issues because they didn't have these systems uh, for very long, so they probably don't have star bases there. While the humans have expanded before that because nobody really bothered them. Which is about to change. So, terraforming. You're not the biggest planet here. Alright. Uh, I'd like some more um, troop transports if you don't mind. Mm, Alright, let's put the stock exchange here. Okay. So we have a few ready. I think the human fleet will just move here and we can take it out with this fleet instead, but it doesn't matter how much. Send more troop transports there. Yes, troop transports, you got the message at least. Very, very good. Incursion is to an Ezra 2 into Baron, what? Uh, Freaking idiots. Oh well. Should keep a closer eye on the former mission colonies because they don't have core waste dumps for some reason. So, well. So we need more troop transports, please. Troop transports. Yeah. We have better things to do. Well, I can build a planetary stock exchange, I guess. But after that, troop transports. We need a frick ton of troop transports. Same here. Stock exchange, troop transports. You guess it! You can guess it! Stock exchange... Well, I don't have an Astro University too. I don't really need the research, but... well... And then troop transports. Alright, just wait here. Move up there. Oh, you're done. Right. Very well. Uh move up here I guess you can take a look at what is in this system I think there's really just nothing in the system but let's take a look okay move here Next. all right so, I guess um, I'm going to take a lot another look at the building queues uh, while not recording. And then in the next episode, we're going to declare a war on the humans. Somehow, move in to Nordia and uh, Griffin at the same time and then take it from there. But we'll see that next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.